Hey everyone, Melissa here. So this is going to be a mini review on the Tarte Awaken Your Complexion kit, okay? Um, I liked it. I didn't love it. I loved my sample. Fell in love with it. Amazing. This is just the toppest, bestest, grandest thing in the entire world, right? So I bought the kit. It does come with a full-size Maracuja um, creaseless. Am I in the frame? Yeah. Creaseless, um... What the heck am I trying to say? Concealer. <laughs> um, it comes with the small size of the oil, the setting powder, and a brush. Okay. I liked it overall. Um, however, I'm going to return it. Because the wear was great for one. Okay. If you don't wear bare minerals, if you don't have access to bare minerals, and or you don't like bare minerals, um, give Tarte a try. For me, it wasn't anything more than what Bare Minerals could give me. I was wanting more um, concealing underneath my eyes, but I do know tips and tricks that I can achieve that with my Bare Minerals. Um, I was just wanting a cream, which we do have a cream now, a cream concealer. But I just, I don't know. I'm a makeup hoarder and a makeup junkie, so of course I'm going to want something new all the time, and I've been wearing nothing but Bare Minerals for almost a year now. And I really just wanted to branch out. But this just didn't give me the wow factor I thought it was going to give me. And in the end, and I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday. Um, in the end, it's not what makeup can I use to fix this. It's what skincare can I use to fix this. So I'm going to be focusing more on putting the Active Cell Renewal, which is our version of like their oil. Um, like their Maracuja oil that came here, which is beautiful and it's great. But I'm going to start putting the active cell underneath my eyes before my makeup um, instead of an eye cream just to get more hydration to help with the lines, to help with the lack of hydration underneath your eyes, you get dark circles. Um, some dark circles are hereditary. There's um, so many different kinds of thoughts and theories on that. And so that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to drink more water. I'm going to try to get more sleep because in the end, it's your body that's creating this and makeup can only do so much. And I don't want to look cakey. I don't want to look um, overly done just to try to over conceal. So I hope that makes sense. This is a great product though. If you do, if you are dealing with dark circles, you're a busy person, you don't have time to reapply all the time, this will stay the 12 hours underneath your eyes. Um, it is a sticky, tacky texture. It's not smooth and creamy, which is good, which I like. It's hard to blend, but that's where that um, putting an eye cream underneath your eye first or the maracuja oil that comes with it, that'll help blend it out easy. It doesn't make it crease. It doesn't make it wear less. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video on this kit here even though I am returning it um, it is a great product I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna just test different things out and uh, just kind of go on another little journey of Sephora and see what I like um, with my second job hopefully I'm getting it I interviewed yesterday or two days ago <laughs> Um, I will be able to branch out a little bit. I love my Bare Minerals. I don't want to change it. But as a makeup junkie, um, someone who loves trying new things, and I've been wearing Bare Minerals almost every single day for the last year, um, I just want to see what else is out there. Um, there's nothing wrong with what I wear. Um, I also tried the Amazonian Clay. Um, what is that? foundation and it goes on amazing as amazing as a cream would go on your face it's almost like a mousse texture um but it didn't wear and i like the way it, it says it's a 12 hour wear which it didn't last on me 12 hours um i like the way my bare minerals wears off of my face so after i've worn it eight nine hours without touching it up at all um i still my skin still looks put together when this wore off it was blotchy, um, and it literally looked like I had nothing on my face. So I didn't like that. But again, it, everybody's skin type is different. I'm not knocking anything. I have, it's nothing negative. It just didn't work for me. Okay, so talk to you guys soon. Bye.